Hello everyone, welcome to part 52 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Picking up where we left off, um, just went down the stairs here. As we know, this is the secret location of uh, the Fair Lady. So, let's go ahead and talk to NG. Is it? Oh dear, what have we here? Are you a new servant? I believe we said, yeah, we said yes. But, but you have no eggs. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Yeah, so there is actually a way to get eggs, believe it or not. Um, more like one egg. And the way to do it is you got to find one of the, one of these guys, like what he is, you know, with the eggs on their back. You know, there's some in front of the, uh, on the way to the boss of Quelag. There's also a whole bunch outside in the demon ruins. And I think it actually has to be those ones because the ones praying outside don't really do anything. But anyway, if you go up to them, sometimes they'll do an attack where they grab you, and then their egg sac open up, opens up, and a worm like face hugs you, <laughs> and um, it seems like nothing happens at first. But then your guy will start itching his head, scratching it, and then out of nowhere, and this is like after you know some time, all of a sudden your head like fizzles up, and you have an egg for a head. Yeah, so um, I don't think I'm gonna do that because it's a bit of a pain in the butt to get going, and then. All it really does is mean you just can't wear a helmet. <laughs> there might be some other benefits, but I don't really care that much. Um, just short of leveling up, so I am going to go ahead and use a soul item here. Let's see. I need about a thousand souls. I think uh, I think this will do it. Might get a little bit more, but that'll be fine. Oh no, I'm just short. It's fine. It's fine. That's why we have more. That's why we have more. Um, do we have a lot of items too? So I think actually, I think I just need 100. This should do it. Yeah, that'll do it. So actually we're going to be pretty close to using up all of our souls here. Let um, me get our intelligence up. I believe the final numbers I'm going for is 40 intelligence and 40 faith. Um, just because that scales well with the sword. Plus it'll mean we can use a lot of different spells. So let's go ahead and keep doing that. Um, yeah, that's about all we have to do down here. Uh, maybe tune some magic, cause yeah, <laughs> I wanted to demonstrate power within, but it's like not actually that great of a thing to have. Um, Strike chaos, we don't really use that. Uh, Black flame is pretty good as well, so I think we're happy with that. Let's also, since her being a firekeeper. We will use that fire keeper soul we grabbed last time and reinforce our flask. And with that, we have a plus seven flask, which is actually the biggest flask that you can get. Or rather, that's when it's most upgraded. Um, I believe actually 20 technically would be the biggest in terms of what I was thinking. Uh, that would be a fully kindled bonfire, but you know, it uses up quite a bit of humanity. So, anyway. I'm not going to bother with Ceaseless Discharge. Uh, I was thinking about it, and it's honestly kind of unnecessary. We're going to be going to the Demon Ruins eventually anyway, and I think I'd rather fight him properly, right? Like, Obviously, I showed you guys last time how to cheese him, which is the recommended way to do it, for sure. But it's also, you know, not really much strategy to it other than running. So with that out of the way, um, I'm going to run back. I think I'm just going to meet you way up because honestly there's really not much to do <laughs> along the way i'm just gonna be going up the elevator making my way to firelink shrine um and actually going up to the undead parish because we have to fight the gargoyles because as you remember we rang the bell and i think sen's fortress did not open so i'm gonna meet you over by andre and uh yeah see you then um oh that's right i don't have the master key so <laughs> anyway i'll go back and get that it should just be in there uh not the master key but Key I need to get through here. And yeah. Oh, before I forget, I forget. Dom Hall sells the master key. I just forgot to buy it. So <laughs> make sure to pick it up if you didn't. Anyway, like I said, I'll meet you back up. Bye, Andre. Hello, and we're back. Um, yeah, I just want to try out that effect there. <laughs> I haven't actually really used this pattern, Nancy, so I'll kill a few guys along the way. Um, but yeah, we are here at the Undead Parish. Got some Gargoyles to fight, so that's gonna go really smoothly or really poorly. Not sure. It is a new game plus, but we're also pretty decked out, all things considered. Alright, let's see here. Right, yeah, he's 
almost dead, but dang. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Don't wanna die here. Never really wanna die. But. Okay, and boom. So yeah, I'm back to the uh my usual set here. I say usual, but I don't think I actually wore this for too many episodes. It is definitely the favorite set of armor that I've put together so far, so not gonna lie, I might just wear this for the rest of the game. Uh, we'll see. Obviously, if like we're up, when we're up against demons, I might use some Black Knight weapons. Um, but yeah, other than that, I do like I do like this how this looks here. Um, anyway, one other thing that's cool is during the um, during when I lost all that footage um, a few episodes ago, I did, right before I finally made my comeback, I came to Andre, as you know that episode started here, and what I had done was just upgrade the uh, the composite bow up to plus 10, and then I forgot that I also picked up the very large ember while I was in New Londo, and I forgot to give it to Andre, so let's do that and get our composite bow maxed out here. Yeah, we're gonna give him this large ember, of course. Thank you, Michael. Right. Now, just leave the rest to me. Andre of Astora gets the job done. You shall see. So yeah, the uh, cool thing is that between New Game Plus, you actually do um, keep all of your uh, upgrade material. So I got plenty of chunks. I haven't really used them, I don't think so. Let's dump them into this. Get our combo max out here. And I should be able to find it again here, way at the bottom. There it is. And this might actually be the first time we're using a chunk. So, sorry, not a chunk, a slab. Here we go. So once you're at plus 14, to get that final piece of upgrade, just got to give it that slab. So um, I don't think it's actually that big of an upgrade. Oh, look at that. Cheating unlocked. Strongest weapon. I guess this is the first time I've ever actually done this. Um, that's kind of hilarious. In uh, Dark Souls Remastered, that is. So. I've definitely made plus 15 weapons before, but overall I do like to use special weapons, which is probably why I haven't, <laughs> but anyway, now that I have that. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. I always like when he says that, but um, yeah, now that I have a maxed out composite bow, I'll definitely try to get some, uh, some archery stuff shown in here. For now, we got some gargoyles to fight, so I don't really need to reverse my hauling because I'm not summoning anyone, but I might as well. Let's see if we can get invaded. Yeah, I am still so salty about <laughs> botching the invasion in the last episode there, but um, yeah, we're just moving on, accepting what it is, and okay, let's put our ring back on first of all. And you know what? Maybe I'll try to get another invasion going here. Tell you what, I'll also try out that red sign soapstone. See if I can leave a uh, mark. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're, we're gonna be a good guy. We are gonna use the white sign substone. Because if I remember right, I did have to do a little bit of, um, of getting summoned in order to join the Sunlight Bros. Um, but I don't think I recorded it, so hopefully I can get some footage for you guys. Um, yeah, I know when you're not doing the game plus, so when it's for your first playthrough. This is a very um, popular spot around the chapel because just there's so many new players, and you know, you think that you when 100% of players that make it to the end have gone through the early game, but um, as the game progresses, more and more people play less and less of it. Um, what I'm trying to say is that just by basic logic, um, just there's going to be more players in general earlier in the game, so therefore this is a pretty pretty popular spot. So, uh, I don't know if I've ever showed this, but all you gotta do is just use the item, and you don't have to equip it, you can just do this from your inventory if you want. Um, and then we wait. Hopefully someone sees sees my sign and summons me, but uh, we'll see. I guess to give him a little bit more time, we'll 
clear the area out. Fight these boulder knights. We'll even take our time to parry. Oh, and there we go. Oh yeah, sometimes just spamming parry is your best bet. Um, okay, whoa, whoa, buddy. Do not, do not try to sneak behind me. Okay. Uh, if we're really lucky, we'll get their sword here, but I don't think we're going to be that lucky. Um, yeah, they have a really good sword. He's got his helmet, which is cool. His boulder side sword. It's basically just a long sword that's, like, actually long. <laughs> so, um, pretty good. I recommend using it if you can. Uh, let's see how well... Ooh. Oh, let me try it out here. That was one shot. Pretty cool. Titanite shard. Um, yeah, this this uh, spell might come in handy here. Is the channel still alive? I don't think so. No. Oh. Buddy. Not cool. Alright, let's uh, see here. Maybe a good few of them. Okay, I like it. This is a good crowd control requirement. Definitely not. Oh, yeah, see, look, that's the uh, nice thing about chaos spells and why they need two um, slots because that lingering lava is the real value there. Um, oh, yeah, we did come through here because I remember now we, we uh, rescued Latrek and then we kicked him off the cliff. <laughs> not much I remember. There we go. I can parry, guys. I can parry. Still got it. Um. So yeah, as usual, I'm not gonna wait around too long, just because I just cannot be asked <laughs> to sit around and burn my whole night. Um, really do wish I could have shown off more multiplayer, but uh, what can you do? I guess. Okay. I will try to give them as much time. So I'll go around. I'll grab that item. I won't even. I won't even run. I'll just walk. How about that? And I believe it's just a soul item. It's okay. We like those. We like those. They're help. Um, I'm gonna run now, though. And yeah, so this fight uh, they're gonna go really well or really poorly. Because um, obviously last time we summoned both Latrek and Solaire, and it was just like absolutely a joke. So hopefully these guys give me enough of a hard time to really demonstrate why these are so hard. Because in my first playthrough. Yeah, this is when I almost quit the game, because <laughs> this fight was so hard with the two gargoyles. So, let's see what we can do here. Oh, and there you go. Yeah, when you go through the fog, your summon sign disappears, as it says. So anyway, watch the cutscene again. Here we go. So, um, probably not gonna walk on. Remember, these guys gave me a lot of trouble in Anne Orlando when they were just enemies. Okay, so we're doing pretty good damage though. Um, I'm still gonna try to take his tail off because even though we already have one, um, it's just helpful to remove the attack. Okay, so he's already dead, so this is already not gonna be that bad. Yeah, like these guys are trouble as usual when it's when you have multiple enemies. Yeah, it's a hard time. Yeah, I guess just we are that strong. Um, I also just realized too what it is, is that we're fighting them <laughs> way later than we're supposed to. As usual, you're supposed to fight these guys first. Uh, before Fate Log, so... And now we got our stats up enough that... Yeah, the... This sword is finally starting. We're starting to get some dividends on our investment with all of our stats. Um, because yeah, it takes when you're first when you have just the bare minimum stats, the sword is like okay, but we got like 30, 30 of each, and once we're at 40, 40 intelligence and faith, we are gonna be hitting quite hard. So um, yeah, let's go ring the bell, and I don't think I'm gonna start Sense Fortress this episode. Um, it hasn't been too long, but I do like to have my uh, episodes sort of 
sort of like chapters in a book. Like you want them to make sense. You don't want to have them going for too long. You want them to be like specific areas. This time it was us getting out of Blight Town and just taking care of business here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open the gate. So that's pretty cool. That's definitely the first time I've ever done that where I rang the spell second. And I don't know, you can actually see the bell ringing in the cutscene. So, cool little Easter egg there, I guess. Although, it's not really an Easter egg, more of like a <laughs> alternative. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm just trying to mix things up, keep things interesting for you. Um, I hope that those little tiny things entertain you like they do for me. It's the equivalent of like kind of entertainment, like flinging those little springy things that stop doors. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's just talk to our boy here. Greetings. Hi. I'm just going to skip his dialogue. We know what he says. Uh, we can learn the gesture again, which is interesting. I don't really know what that does for us, but uh, what else can we do? I don't really, I guess. Yeah, yeah, no need that. 20 of these. Yeah, yeah, we can get this, which temporary auto counter versus heavy. I, I literally don't even know what this does. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with it. Uh, and then nothing really. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'd rather just use my souls to level up. <laughs> so on that note, guys, uh, let's call it an episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, definitely had fun making it. Um, I'm getting back into this flow of things, guys. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm getting, enjoying talking, enjoying playing Dark Souls. It has been fun. I said my favorite game so glad to be back uh so on that note i will catch you guys next time take care